Hello, this is Dustin Brown, and I've been getting a lot of questions about the US dollar lately. So we are currently in what appears to be a bit of a currency war uh, with some other sovereign nations. Fortunately, we have a very good Federal Reserve. Our head bank has been doing it longer than almost all sovereign nations central bank. We've invented a lot of the strategies that we still use and other people copy. We're very good at it. So our bankers are very smart. We have lots of checks and balances there. And our current head of the Federal Reserve is one of my personal heroes. So uh, essentially, the US dollar is a promissory note from our central bank. So if you look at the top of it, it says Federal Reserve note. And so what this is, is like a check. You know, if you write a check, it's you writing a promissory note. It's backed by your bank. This is the bank note. If you get a certified check, that means that bank that certified that note is guaranteeing the assets are there. Our Federal Reserve, that's essentially a certified note. If it's authentic note, that's a real US dollar. It's a certified note from the Federal Reserve. So, dollar, Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve is our central bank. It is a bank. It is a, the highest regulated bank in the world. And so when they print new bills, or if they digitally create new currency, they have to have the assets behind them. Does that make sense? So two years ago during the COVID crisis, 12 years ago, well, 12 years ago, 12 to 15 years ago, when they were creating new US dollars, they took those dollars and they bought assets. They didn't throw them out of helicopters. They didn't send them to you. So the US government needed to borrow money. The bank said, okay, how much do you need? Excellent, here's how much interest you have to pay us to borrow these dollars. So they created new dollars and they bought the asset that backs it. When that debt owed to the US government came due, the US government would have to pay them off. So think of this as the bond, the US treasury bond or private item bond. That would go back and fill in the hole. That dollar was deleted. So created, backed by an asset. When that asset, that bond came due, filled in the hole as if nothing had happened. So bank, credit, debt, make sense? Accounting principle. So 12 years ago, a new thing happened. They bought a bunch of notes backed by the US housing market. So traditionally, they mostly just loaned money to the US government. Then they were buying up all these mortgage-backed securities. So now they're backed by a note that's backed by a house, a physical asset that people can live in. And we know now how valuable houses, how houses are. Sadly, 12, 15 years ago, we did it. People were walking away from homes for paper. Strange, hard to live in paper, pretty easy to live in a house. Unless you're married, then mostly easy to live in a house. If you have kids, a little more difficult. But you can live in a house, hard to live in paper. So backed by US government debt, backed by housing debt, and then in 2019, early on due to COVID, we had a volatile market. We had lots of concerns. The economy was being shut down. Money started getting tight. Capital markets started grinding to a halt. And the Federal Reserve said, okay, we will create new dollars and we will buy debt from US companies, bonds. We will buy, we will loan money essentially to US companies so they can get through this. When that loan comes due, they have to give us back that dollar, and in the meantime, they have to pay us interest. That interest was very high. I know that, because I was buying those corporate bonds for my clients. And then 
one night they announced that they were gonna buy those bonds and loan that money to the corporations. The next morning, my rate of returns went from 8% to three because they bought all those debts. And so now those corporate bonds are part of what backs up the dollar. So we have US government, we have housing, debt on housing, and debt on corporations. And incidentally, they still have metals and the bank itself has assets. They own lots of property, Fort Knox, a lot of banks. If you have never been to a central bank, look for your closest one and maybe that's your next road trip. Uh, they will not let you in, but you can at least look at a building. So I've asked. So that's how the dollar works. So when someone shows concern that they're afraid the dollar is gonna fall in value because we're just printing more of it, right? No, you're thinking of a fiat currency when some dictator just prints money to pay their soldiers with paper, paper that's not backed by anything. That's not what we do here. We are an over-evolved, over-engineered, safe, well-designed country. You can thank Alexander Hamilton for this. You can thank Benjamin Bernanke for the housing. You can thank Powell for those corporate bonds. I still like him, but he did buy all my good bonds. So that's a simple explanation of how our currency works. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions or if you want me to make a video on anything else, please let me know. Um, have a nice day.